Not easy to stay focused sometimes, is it? There's no one who did it better than Jesus over 2,000 years ago about this time. Morning, welcome to your morning cup of inspiration. Thanks for joining me. I find it hard to stay focused sometimes. I was reflecting this week. If you'll remember back at the beginning of the year, I asked many of you to select a word that was going to be your theme or focus for the year, and mine was fervent which is intense passion. And unfortunately, I feel like I've lost my focus. I haven't been fervent this year in my prayer life, my spiritual walk, and I have to recalibrate and get back and start over and refocus. Maybe you need to do the same thing today. Jesus was focused that night when he was in the Garden of Gethsemane. His disciples were asleep. He knew what the next few days held, and he remained focused. If we look internally, if we look inside, if our focus is inside us where our Holy Spirit is and where the will of God can be discerned, we will see eternal results. And that's our goal, to see eternal results. If you're looking outward, if you're scattered, and you know what I mean, that becomes worldly results. And that's not what we want. So I encourage you to be focused today and in the days ahead internally to see eternal results. And when you do, you can be another example just like Jesus was to us. He was willing to take the beating on his back. He was willing to be nailed to a cross. He was willing to have a crown of thorns gouged into his skull and he was willing to die for you and for me. The beauty of it was that three days later, God resurrected him and he became our Savior and our Lord. If he hasn't become your Savior and Lord, I pray that you'd accept him, believe in what he did, that it was for you, and you can have eternity in heaven with him. You can one day look him in the face You can see the nail-scarred hands and feet. You can see the mark in his side. And if you look real close, you can see the puncture wounds in his forehead. And those were done for you because Jesus kept his focus. So during this Easter season, I pray that you too would keep your focus. Keep it on Jesus. Keep it on God. Keep it on the Holy Spirit and allow him to give you one of the best Easter seasons that you've ever had. God bless. Thanks for joining me for that morning cup of inspiration, and we'll see you next time.